In this video, I want to go over the count of positive sum of negatives problem on code words. And what I want you to do is, given an array of integers, return an array where the first element is the count of positives and the second element is the sum of negatives. Zero is neither positive or negative. If the input is an empty array or is null, return an empty array. So if we look over here at the example, here's the array that they'll pass us. They count 1 to 10 and then negative 11 through negative 15. What it would return is 10. And this one would be uh, where the first element is the count of positive. So there's 10 positive numbers right, right here, 10 positive uh, elements. And then the sum of the negatives, negative 11 plus negative 12 plus negative 13 plus negative 14 plus negative 15 is negative 65. Now the way we're going to do this, it's actually not all that difficult, is we're going to create two variables. One is going to be the count. We're going to set that equal to zero. The other one is going to be the total. And we're also going to set that equal to zero. This one is going to be the count of the positives, and then the total is going to be the sum or the total of the negatives. And that's the uh, two variables that we're going to return at the end. Next, we need to iterate throughout our array to actually uh, access these, these integers right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say for i and r, we need to check to see if the current element in question is positive. So if i is greater than 0. What we're going to do, that means it's positive, so we're just going to add 1 to the count equals 1. However, if it's not greater than 0, so if it's less than 0, so if i is less than 0, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add it to our total. So total plus equals i. And then from here, we just need to return the count in total. So return count and total, because that's the format they want. However, um, they we should only do this if the length of the array does not equal 0. So if we attempt this, some of these are going to fail. Uh, 0, 0 should equal empty, and the reason being is because what they pass this probably is an empty list. So what we need to do is we only want to return this if and only if the length of the array does not equal zero. So if the length of R does not equal zero. However, if it does equal zero, so else we will return just a empty list. So now let's attempt it and that should get that test case. So yeah, so now all 46 test cases passed. So that is the very simple count of positive sum of negatives problem on Code Wars. I hope that you learned something and if you did, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed and I will see you guys in future tutorials.